If you are visiting our channel for the first time, please subscribe first to get the latest updates. Today we will see how you can identify what is the domain range and codomain of a function. Before going towards the example, let's have the short definitions of domain range and codomain. So domain is defined as set of all first components, set of all first components of ordered pair in a function. Okay, then we move towards the range. What is range? You must have the concept about them and how you can differentiate them. So the range is set of all second elements or components ordered pairs in function. Then the codomain as most of us uh, get confused about domain uh, about uh, domain and codomain. So let's see how it differentiates from the domain. Codomain is actually the set of all elements of B. Now how codomain actually differentiates from the range as range also refers to the elements of B. It basically in range is basically the subset of codomain. Keep this in mind. In, in range all elements of B are not included while in codomain all elements of B are included. We will uh, also find by using the example. For example we have here we start with the example. We have an example that is suppose A is equals to this is a set A 0, 1, 2 and 3 and B is equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and the function that is a to B is defined as F is equals to X and Y such that Y is equals to X plus 1 for all X belongs to A and Y belongs to B. So this is the function. So in terms of ordered pairs how we can write this function as F is equals to as y should be the uh, should be x plus 1 so we can write the ordered pairs as x should be 0 then y should be 1 because we have written in the function as y is equal to x plus 1 so if x is 1 then y should be 2 if x is 2 then the y should be 3 and if x is 3 then the y should be 4 so these are the ordered pairs because we are so we, are, uh, we have only four first elements, that is the elements of A. It all depends on A. So by using this function, we can find the domain and range. And then codomain. First we will find domain, that is domain of F is represented like this. Then what we have to include domain is basically the first elements of the function. So the first elements are B, 0, 1, 2 and 3. So this is the domain. Then we have a range. Range is basically the second element of the ordered pairs in the function. So range of f is equals to 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now codomain. Here we will differentiate the range and the codomain. Codomain is basically here all elements of set B. So codomain will be is equals to all elements of B are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So range and now check the elements of range and codomain. There is one element more in codomain as compared to range. This means range is the subset of codomain. So this is how the range and codomain differentiate it from each other. So hope so the concept of domain and range and codomain will be cleared by using this example. Keep this in mind that codomain is always the all include all the elements of the set B and range is basically the subset of codomain and it depends on the second elements of the function and codomain does not depend on the function. It basically gives you with the elements of the uh, given sets and domain is the first element of the, uh, of the uh, uh, first element of the ordered pairs in the function.
Thanks. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe our channel math.com for more updates. Thank you.